I'm Marin Wood, and I'm the co-founder of Beyond the Professoriate, and I did a PhD in history at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Beyond the Professoriate is a mission-driven organization. We help empower PhDs to build meaningful careers and impactful lives wherever smart people are needed. I started Beyond the Professoriate with Jen Polk, who is my co-founder. We actually did our master's together way back in olden times at Carleton University. And we started Beyond the Professoriate largely based on our own personal experiences. So I hit the academic job market in 2009, and that was right as the recession hit and uh, jobs felt like they were being pulled faster than they were being posted. And I had never thought about doing anything else when I had been doing my PhD. I'd gone all the way through from my undergraduate through to my PhD, and I wanted to be a professor and a researcher and a scholar. And after three years on the academic job market, I realized that the type of work that I was wanting to do, the type of job that I wanted to have, just wasn't going to be possible in this new economy. And so I moved to Washington, D.C. with my partner, and I was depressed, and I was anxious, and I was lost, and I was very ill-equipped to even imagine a life outside of academia. And I didn't know how to network or write a resume. I didn't know what kind of jobs were out there. And as I was going through this process, I could see on social media this woman, Jen Polk, who had also moved back into this uh, all-tac, post-tac space. And I reached out to Jen, and Jen had come to this a little bit differently. She never wanted to be a professor, but at her department, there were no conversations about what else you would do if you didn't end up as a faculty member. And Jen felt the same. She was just ill-equipped to find something else with her degree. And so we had a couple conversations about what we could do, and we came up with this idea to do an online career conference because it was cheap and we were broke. And the idea was that we would be able to bring PhDs together, people who had jobs, to talk to people like us about how we could leverage our education and what kind of job search strategies we needed to have. And that was our first annual online career conference, and we've been doing those now for six years. Two years ago, Jen and I decided that we wanted to provide year-round professional development coaching and resources to, to PhDs and postdocs. We launched a community, which is available for individuals. And this past year, we launched an e-learning platform, which is available by university subscription. So that's been the evolution of Beyond the Professoriate. We find that postdocs and PhDs have a couple of very specific challenges when they begin to look for work after their degree. The first challenge is, like I, like I said about myself, we often don't know what is available in the creative economy, what kind of jobs are available for people with our skill set, largely because we've spent most of our adult life in academia working with other PhDs alongside people who have similar skills and similar jobs and career ambitions. And in academia, the unfortunately, I think it's still true that career success is landing a tenure track job. And so we get very focused on that kind of career and we don't necessarily explore the other things that are available to us. So Beyond the Professoriate Programming is designed to help PhDs and postdocs understand what else is out there. So every month we interview PhDs who have jobs in a whole range of careers from entrepreneurship to data science to UX research and faculty members as well to present the range of possibilities to postdocs. And one of the things that I really love about our interviews is that the PhDs that we talk to Many of them now work in careers that are very different from their subject matter expertise. And what it allows our members to do is to really think about their careers in a, in a different way. So rather than thinking about their subject matter or their technical expertise, what often hooks PhDs in their career transition is a motivator or an interest. And so by watching these interviews, postdocs and PhDs can begin to think about their careers very differently. The second challenge that we know that postdocs face is that job searching in academia is very different from pr the professional job search. And we are often unfamiliar with networking, informational interviews, writing resumes, negotiating job offers. And so we, with our programming, have designed courses and how-to seminars on these topics to help PhDs learn the very different job search strategies that they're going to need in order to succeed on the professional job market. And then the third challenge that we know that postdocs have is time. Postdocs are in the lab, they're working, they're trying to balance personal and, fam and family life. and so. 
our programming is available on demand in our community platform 24 seven. And all of our events are done in the evenings and we record them so you never have to worry about missing uh, something that was important. Beyond the professoriate, our mission is to reach as many PhDs and postdocs and graduate students as we possibly can with our programming. Our idea behind it is that we see ourselves as a service that we provide where we take PhDs who are job searching and we connect them with PhDs who have an understanding about how to make a successful career transition. So for Jen and I, our main goal is to minimize suffering. We see a lot of people who are in the career transition who are stressed, anxious, depressed, wondering, curious, sometimes without guidance. And we want to provide them with opportunities to learn and to connect with other PhDs and to f launch meaningful, successful careers. So that's really our goal. And the more people we can reach with that message and the more people we can reach with our programming, the more PhDs we can help move from academia from postdoc positions or adjunct positions into meaningful careers where they feel hopeful, optimistic, supported, well-paid, that's really our goal. So if that can happen with academic positions, then we want to support PhDs in finding those positions. If it's outside of the academy, then we want to support PhDs to find those as well. One of the types of programming that we've been doing over the last year, we call them spotlights. And what we do is we invite a PhD that's been working in a career field for three or five years or more, and we ask them, not about their career transition, but we ask them, what is it, you know, what, what is data science? What is UX research? You've been working in this field, you're an expert. Can you tell our community members like about this field? And the PhD who's now working in data science or UX research, they'll come in and they'll talk about, well, you know, this is data science. These are the types of jobs and careers people have. Here are some entry level positions. Here are some of the skills that PhDs already have in order to be successful. Here's some things that you learn. And what's so empowering about this programming is that the person who's delivering the one-hour seminar loves their job, and you can see it. They're energized, they're interested, they're engaged, and they're so excited to be there to tell other people about this amazing career that they have discovered and that they're working in. And for our community members, as this event is unfolding, sometimes lives are just being changed in action. And as someone who's hosting the event, it's so inspiring to see people come alive and hopeful and discovering careers that they maybe have only kind of heard of but don't really understand and beginning to see pathways forward for themselves and that this they have direction and they have hope and they are optimistic and they have strategies for their own career success that even 45 minutes earlier they didn't have. I think what makes Beyond the Professoriate unique, first of all it's career advice by PhDs for PhDs and Jen and I like to facilitate these conversations. So it's not just Jen and I. We have literally hundreds of PhDs that we have interviewed over the last couple of years who share their knowledge and their expertise. So it really makes it that nice community feeling that you're meeting PhDs working in all different kinds of jobs who are coming in to do our programming and content for us. So I think that that's makes Beyond Prop unique and exciting. The second thing is that we do have resources for people who are going beyond the professoriate, as her name would suggest, but we also have resources for faculty careers as well. One of the things that we've heard from PhDs over the last couple of years is that a lot of PhDs are interested in finding their first best job, and sometimes that's in higher ed as professors, and sometimes it's in industry or nonprofits. And so we don't want people to feel like they have to choose which career path they're currently on. We want people to really be able to explore their options. And so we provide these resources for faculty and professional careers side by side. So you, there's no need to, to choose before you join Beyond the Profits, right? You can see what's the best fit for you. And we also now are building up resources for people like me who are self-employed PhDs because we know that this is a career path that num a number of PhDs are very interested in is entrepreneurship and self-employment. So our community is for all the PhDs. We have resources for STEM, humanities, social sciences, and we call it a career hub for PhDs, for all the PhDs, and we're really excited about that.